Hey everyone, Melanie Minshinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a new project for you with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Women of Faith, and I'm going to be showing you the embossing resist technique. There are several images in this set that are going to work with it. I'm going to be demonstrating it with the silhouette once again, show you a really cool layout you can make with a mirror image of this, as well as what it's going to look like with the cross. In addition to the Women of Faith set, you're going to need some cardstock for this project. So I have got the Gina K Pure Luxury Lemon Drop and the Black Onyx. This piece of pattern paper is from the Sending Love Gina K pack, and I will post these dimensions below the video. You're also going to need a large block or a misty for that large image, and then I've got a smaller block for stamping my greetings. You're going to need some clear embossing powder, any brand will work, and then I've got a Marvy heat tool right here. I've got just some of the Gina K Connect glue for adhering my layers. And then the pads we're using today, we need the Versamark pad for making that embossing stick. I've got some of the Gina K Turquoise C, which coordinates with the pattern paper to make that embossing pop. And then finally, I'm using the Gina K Designs Jet Black Amalgam Ink for my greetings. So let's begin by doing our embossing. So I've already got this on the three by four block here. Put that aside. So I'm gonna ink this up with the Versamark. And it's an invisible ink. So just make sure you get it all over and then you can tilt it in the light and you'll see that the whole stamp looks shiny. And I'm just gonna stamp this right into the corner. So pardon my head for a second. I'm just peeking to see that there's just about an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch around the edges of her head and her hand there. So press all over. Now we'll, when I lift this up, you're not going to see the image. I'll try to tilt it in the light though for you to see. But this paper has a bit of a sheen to it, so you really can't tell that's on there. But trust me, you'll know that it is when you pour on your powder. Okay. So we've got our clear powder here. And I'm just gonna put just another piece of paper underneath. Okay, so now we can see, just barely, it still might be a little bit hard for you to see that it's on there. But if you're doing this at home, you'll see it's sticking to that image. Okay. So I'm going to funnel this back in and we're going to heat this up. So you want to keep moving the gun around. You don't want to scorch the paper. You're going to see it start to melt, it becomes really shiny. So you just want to make sure you don't have anything that looks flat or powdery left over. And it looks a little blotchy on this paper, but it is solid and you'll see that when I sponge over it. Okay. All right, so we've got, let me do a little bit on the hand there at the bottom. It's just harder to see the embossing with the powder, but I love the emboss resist technique on this pattern paper because then you can see those flowers through it. So you'll just want to do this one time if you want to have a landscape layout with just the one face and the grating over here. Keep in mind that you can also turn this image with the hands lifting up and then put your grating this way if you want. And I just love having a little bit of the paper revealed there like under the embossing. So I didn't do the whole thing. But I'm going to show you what's going to happen if you do just one more face on this for kind of like a little puzzled nested silhouette. So I'm gonna do this one more time. And I waited to do my sponging there because I didn't wanna go under the part of the image that we're going to be embossing. I really want those flowers to pop under there. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so I've got this turned over. I've got my one silhouette going this way in this corner. Now I'm gonna put it in the other corner. Hang on one second, I feel like I've got something under my screen. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put this in the opposite corner. And again, I'm just trying to leave that tiny reveal all the way around. 
Okay, and I realize now the reason why it feels like my mat is popping up is from heating it. Kind of warped it a little bit, but that's temporary. Okay, so I'm going to lift this off. I'm going to go ahead and do my embossing one more time. And it looks like I've got it all. So this is our last thing to emboss. Okay. So I just love these new images nestled together like this. You know, turning this in the light so that I can see. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, hang on. Clear up my area there a little bit. That was funny. I've never done that before. I've definitely made a mess with my embossing powder before, but not like that. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we are going to sponge this turquoise sea ink all over the pattern paper. And you really want to concentrate it on the areas around the outline so that you really make those little facial features pop. And it's up to you how much you want to cover up if you want to kind of leave those edges open like I had on this one, since I ended up going with two silhouettes, I'm gonna do the majority of it. And if you really go up to that edge, then you'll have that little reveal, almost like a patterned piece of turquoise paper, making a nice sharp edge or mat around each side. So you have a little bit of room in the middle of these two women. And the plan that I had for that was for you to put sister. You could put another little greeting from the set or from another set in between them or leave your greeting for the inside. So you see, so it's going to go on darker and then as it dries, it's going to fade just a little bit. So I'm really going to just add more on there. And then if you want, you can take a little tissue or some scratch paper and then just go over to remove any ink that has built up on here, but it's, it's pretty dry as you can see, it's not coming off onto my finger. So when you have it to the point where you like how it looks, you're done with your sponging. And so I'm gonna take that little sister stamp. Now I do not have a sister, I just have one brother, but I have many sisters in Christ. So that's what I am planning this card for. So I'm gonna take my smaller block and I'm just gonna stamp the sister with this amalgam ink right in between them there. And you can see the sister has a little heart on the eye. And then I'm going to put inside the card in Christ. So I've got the little in Christ stamp here. Still have so many techniques for these bold images and I'll show you the one with the cross in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and put one of those little butterflies on there too just to kind of decorate that a little bit. Okay and then you can put one on the back as well for your name. Now let's go ahead and adhere these layers and we'll be done and then I'll show you the other cards. So I've got the Connect glue, and you can see that ink is really saturated. It's kind of cool how it's coming through there. So I'm going to go right up to the edges because the paper is a little bit warped from the heating. So this is just going to press those edges right down. I'm going to put this on the black, and that's going to give it some structure. I'll lay this on top of my yellow cardstock so I can see that I've got 
even amount all around on that mat. Okay. And then we'll just adhere this, or if you want to add a little bit more dimension to this card, you could pop it up on some foam. Just like that. So here's that original card that I made, but I hope that you'll give this a try with other stamping techniques or just in colored ink. I'll show you another sample on my blog of one that I did with those two images. So here's one that I did with the cross image, and you could also substitute this flower, but these are six by six pieces of pattern paper. So when you trim off a piece that's approximately four inches by five inches, you're gonna have a piece that's the length of a card and is about an inch and a half to two inches wide. So I just used the scraps from these paper to create a cross layout on here and I did the exact same thing where I just embossed the shattered cross from the set in the clear and then went over it with the turquoise C. And you can't really see the little broken pieces that make up the mosaic of this cross. I'll show that in another video, but for the symbolism for that for me when I was illustrating this image, it's how he binds up our broken pieces and then our heart is made whole in Christ. So I hope you enjoy that image. I hope that you enjoy these ideas and you'll give the emboss resist technique a try with this Women of Faith set. Please visit my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart for more ideas and inspiration using all of our stamp sets and at Gina K Designs and Stamp TV. Let me know below which of these cards you you prefer and which one you're going to make first. Thank you again for watching today. God bless.